Greetings food lovers. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Chef Vaughn and we are going to make stuffed mushrooms. Not only is this my mother's favorite food, it is one of my favorite foods and it is one of my BFF's favorite foods. And since we're rocking in the month of April, I figured that this would be a good time to celebrate everybody all together. So, and this is one of those dishes that you really don't need all the measurements. You don't need to be exact with it. So I feel like this is something everybody can make and have a good time with and pretty much design it the way that you really want it to be. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is the baby portobello mushrooms that have been washed and dried and the stems have been scooped out so that you can stuff everything in there. Next up, if you are not a meat eater at all, then this is going to be the plate for you. We have shredded cheese, we have green onions, a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, we have finely chopped garlic, and we have white rice here, but you can stuff it with any type of rice. You can stuff it with the brown rice, you can have like rice that has different onions and peppers in it and things like that. I've done that before, it was delicious. So that right there. And then you're also gonna have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And for the meat lovers, we have turkey bacon. Only thing I advise is that you watch the salt um, that you sprinkle at the end because turkey bacon is really salty in my opinion. So just be careful of that. There is really nothing to it but to do it. So. Take whatever it is that you're looking for. It's kind of like a taco. That's how I feel about it. It's like stuffed mushrooms in taco form. So you put whatever the heck you want in it. I know for my mother, I put rice in hers because she does not eat meat. I, on the other hand, do. And then she eats beans and stuff too. I've done that one time. Maybe I'll show you the recipe on how I did that because there was a little bit more to it than just stuffing it. Just scoop to your desire and put whatever you want on the mushrooms as far as, uh, as, far as the toppings are concerned. But what I do recommend is that you put the cheese on whatever you choose as your fillings. You put the cheese on last and then top that with a little bit of the onions so that it, it can melt properly and then you can still have a little bit of color pop to it when you're done. So that's how we get it done over here. But for the ones that you can have with your meat and everything in them, I limed or I greased the pan. I put a little spray butter on it. And I'm going to place them in this pan right here like so. And then we are going to take a spoon and pretty much drizzle Worcestershire sauce on it. It is going to be phenomenal. Every bit of it makes me happy, and you should be excited about it too. And you're going to do the same thing for the ones that do not have meat. I just put them in a separate container because obvious reasons. Some people don't like their foods mixed. So add that in there. Cover them with foil. You're going to have your oven that has been preheating on 350 ever since you started to get this going. You're going to put that in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes with some foil covering it so that the cheese can melt. And I put a little bit of water, like a very little bit of water, maybe a spoonful or two, just to have it steam. But towards the end of the cooking time, it's the water's gonna evaporate and it's gonna crisp the mushrooms up to the desired texture, but it's also still going to not have them burned. So let's go and do that and see where we end up at the end of this. Yay! So the time has come for the food to be taken out of the oven. It's been 15 minutes on 350 degrees with foil covering the stuffed mushrooms. So all you're gonna do is take it out of the oven with a mint. Be careful, it's super hot. Do not be anything like me when it comes to burning yourself. It's something that, you know, I don't take pride in, but it happens. So place that on over here and just set it on up the way you're looking for. Smells so good. I hope you try this recipe like as soon as possible just so you can tell me whether or not you liked it. That's how I feel and how you stuffed yours and what you put it with. 
So food lovers, the time has come for us to actually eat what we have created. This right here, once again, is the stuffed mushrooms. This plate right here is the one that has been fully loaded with bacon. And the one to my side are the ones that are for the vegetarians. Once again, the choice is completely up to you. However, I would love to hear the ones that you decided to make and what you placed in yours as far as the toppings, if it was anything different, or if you followed the recipe to the T. Either way, I think you're gonna be super satisfied because the smells that are coming from this plate right here make me actually have to go right now. So y'all take care, <laughs> bye.